I am ready to schedule the second DEXA scan. No snacks. Prep the raw material. Cycles are a thing. Took me 15 minutes to do. And I have like freshly cooked meat. A lot of protein powders are just shit. You don't want that in your life. on my body I am a six feet tall woman who does work out I lift I do have muscle mass but regardless I had a lot of extra body weight obviously so I decided to you know like that's enough enough is enough in the very beginning of my journey two years ago I went for a DEXA scan in about December and at the DEXA scan I was like I'm around 243 pounds or something like that but now I'm at this point where in December of this year is going to be two years since I've done my very first DEXA scan and I'm kind of like wanting to summarize the entire journey I kind of want to put it put at the end to it of like the weightless journey obviously the fitness journey is completely different like the building muscle the recompositioning all this fun stuff but I did need to get off this uh, like this extra weight to begin with in order to start building muscle and then be in a little bit of a more caloric uh, surplus because I've been in a deficit for so, so long. So that's the summary for you. You're welcome. You don't have to go down into my YouTube channel and see <laughs> what's going on. Like, okay, hold on. There's cops. I can't speak. I can't speak. There's cops. Ooh. I think you saw the camera. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, he's not turning around for me. Okay, good. Oh, we're live. <laughs> Anyways, what was I even talking about? So that's the summary of my weight loss journey. It's been rough, it's been on and off, it's been a lot of ups and downs and stuff like that, but here I am in a better space, I'd like to say. Also, ignore please, like, I'm not that tall. It's just like, my, my seat is broken and I have to have it at the very high, like, so I'm like, eh, hitting, the, <laughs> hitting the thing with the thing. I am ready to schedule the second DEXA scan. And I'm thinking I'm gonna schedule it in end of December, beginning of January, just like after the holidays, which could be problematic because like, you know how holidays are, especially international household, Russian household, Georgian household, a lot of food, a lot of drinking, which I'm not gonna do. But regardless, it's a lot of extra meals and it's not uh, in the routine. So I'm gonna give myself like three months, 11, 12 weeks, something like that, to give it my best to lose the remainder of the fat that I have on my body, or like the extra fat, like, Obviously fat is good, but like not all the fat is good, like you know what I mean? So, we are starting this Monday, basically today, that's why I'm making this video. And the first step is to meal prep, because that literally goes before you even start to exercise. Like this is just like basics. I don't know if I should film, like, what are you, have you not seen people grocery shop? Like, I don't, I don't know, do you need that? Do you want that? Tell me, do you want that? I'll do it for you. I did set up a camera so you could see me walk into the car. So what? So what? It's for the plot. So I want to show you something that I find very useful in like shopping, I guess. I started using this app called Yuka and it's an app that's basically telling you like, hey, this food is bad for this and that and that reason. And this is the science behind it. And those are the reference materials about this. I'm terrified. I have not tested it with these ones. Poor! 39 out of 100! Okay, so that's a good example of an additive. So, additives, when you hit on additives, you can see more here. Every, every three toll, you click on this, and it gives you explanation as to why it could be, like, a problem. And then it's your choice whether you would like to um, go with it or not. For me, in the case of those keto coconut clusters, I would rather have a couple clusters than I would have a um, Snickers bar. You know what I mean? Like, you have to pick your battles here. There is one thing that I would like to acknowledge that I'm very self-conscious about. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? You know what I mean? And I do this and then it works for a little bit, but then I do this and it doesn't fucking work. It goes back out. We're home. So the way that I usually meal prep is I take care of the proteins first because things like meat, chicken, fish take 
like it's, it's just very tedious it takes forever to prepare then you have to cook it then marinate it whatever you're doing like it's just it's a lot of work so I just do that and I take care of the vegetables and the carbs later because it's so much easier to prepare it's just chop some vegetables boil some quinoa 10 minutes you're good you're done right so this week I'm going with three pounds of ground lamb which I found on sale for like five dollars at Aldi for lamb. I'm sorry, that's lamb we're talking about. I love lamb, but it's so expensive. I don't usually get it, but this time I did. I should probably go back to Aldi and get more, actually. And also about three pounds of salmon. Why is it three pounds and three pounds? Because the way that I calculated it for my fitness pal for each meal, it just makes sense. I got those three pounds of lamb. I do have salt, pepper, and in English it's called chili pip, chili, chili sauce, something. Literally just chili sauce, but it is ajika. Ajika is an amazing spicy sauce, like it's Georgian basically. It's it's the best. I don't, ugh, it's spicy, it's spicy, but it's so good. So I added that in there, but now let's get with the salmon. Yeah, because that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Too, and I put this in the air fryer right now. It's the first time I'm doing this recipe. So I put it in the air fryer for 15 minutes because I didn't know how much to put this for. On minute eight, this is what happened. So I guess just put it in the air fryer for like five minutes, which is great because it's gonna be ready so fast. Excuse me, you're like inside of a cabinet, so bear with me. Later on today, we're supposed to have a leg day. These days I'm having a leg day with my man often because he he does really push me forward with my weights and everything, and especially that I am in a good space in terms of like my week right now. Cycles are a thing, and living according with your cycle is very important. But for now, let's just do lunch. And guess what, because I always eat meal prepped, my lunch is gonna be like, this quick. As I was saying, it is much easier to prepare herbs than it is to prepare meat. And I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna have some french fries in the air fryer out of a sweet potato. Japanese sweet potato specifically because I like them better. I swear these things are gonna be the death of me. Anyway, I'm gonna chop some sweet potato again. what my dietary thing is going to be and I'm doing this on record because I know I know that I will otherwise just like kind of like oh maybe this maybe that maybe maybe next time maybe next week so aside from the caloric intake that I am having which is like around 21 2200 calories it's also very important apparently I didn't know this my nutritionist told me that it is very important on the timing of your meals and the kind of the meals and the specific timing so for example it is more beneficial or it's better for you if you eat easier processed proteins in the evening such as chicken fish protein powder that's easily digestible not to have like red meat in the end of the night just because it's so heavy it's gonna take so long to digest you don't want that in your life the second thing is basically it's best to have no snacks so you would have meals three to four hours apart from each other which is what I've been trying to master but you know it's a uh, it's easier to do with Invisalign I'm gonna tell you that much but if you want a snack you're going to snack you know what I mean I just think my main revelation in meal prepping was the fact that you can just prep the raw material <laughs> and then throw it into an air fryer or well god forbid microwave but maybe like into a mini oven or something like that to have it ready like you know in 15 minutes literally this air fryer took me 15 minutes to do and I have like freshly cooked meat great i think that's because whenever internet just started to pop up youtube instagram all those fitness people especially bodybuilders they would usually meal prep like 
whole meals, multiple meals, like 14 containers, lunch and dinners for every day, seven days a week, and it's all cooked, and kind of like everybody just like took their example, which is a great example, like it's nice to meal prep for sure, but why can't you just like meal prep whatever the meat is, like season the meat, put it in a container and just cook it the next day, it's taking 10 minutes, like it's not that much of a big deal, like, I don't know. Is that a revelation? Have you known about this? Have you been doing this? Is it something like, oh my goodness, ah, oh, Lana, you just like opened a new universe for me because my universe has been opened, like literally like about a week ago when I discovered this, so yeah, cheers. You'll have to just deal with the quality of this footage because I took this camera out of the car in the early morning. So so yeah, it, it's just the, the camera is frozen, okay? I literally cannot take myself seriously. This looks like footage from like 2003 on a 2 megapixel camera. <laughs> what is this? I've got no time for this nonsense. So you'll have to enjoy the quality of the footage off of iPhone camera. I just discovered Promix. Not just, I discovered them like two weeks ago and then I ordered stuff and then it shipped and now it's here. It is a nutrition company that uses very clean ingredients. I'm a, a very much of a fan because a lot of protein powders are just shit on the market. The sweeteners I do not really like. So I was looking, for the longest time I was looking for a un unflavored protein and I could not find it anywhere because nobody seems to be making them anymore. But the Promix brand does make them. I bought like a whole stack <laughs> of protein and also they have those protein puffs situations and um, I'm just gonna add this into my breakfast today. So I'm trying to add as much protein as possible into my diet if you haven't noticed and I think that's paying off that's been off already. Or maybe I'm just delusional. I'm probably delusional. Yeah, if you think about that. Yeah. It's not the most aesthetic, but it's going to do. And the reason I'm going for everything uh, unflavored is because those ingredients are literally the cleanest. Like, I, it's just, it's amazing. There's only like two or three lines of ingredients compared to any other protein powder that's gonna be like paragraphs of ingredients and additives and stuff like that. So this is the, the actual protein. And the flavorless, although it can seem like stupid because like, why would you ever have flavorless protein? You can add it in literally anything. You can add it in the, in the yogurt, you can add it in um, smoothies. This one specifically, the Isolate, they have it in chocolate and vanilla and unflavored. And and if that was up to me, I would either get the unflavored or vanilla. But the thing is, in vanilla and chocolate, they do have three or four grams of added sugar per serving. That sugar is coconut sugar, which is better for you because it has lower glycemic index, it doesn't have spike your insulin that much, but it's still sugar. And I'm trying to like really control my consumption of sugar these days. So that's why unflavored. Here's the thing. I have a concept of cheat meal allowances. And the way my nutritionist explained to me is your general nutrition should be about 85% percent good food and 15 percent like a cheaty kind of food and so i was like well i don't know what that means 85 percent 15 percent all of these percentages throughout a week like that doesn't make any sense to me so i made a fancy calculation and it basically showed me that i could have about three and a half cheat meals a week that's kind of a lot and i would like to have less of those but to start with from completely no structure to three and a half meals a week it's all right i feel like it could be it could be done so that is kind of my way of taming my cravings and also being a woman and going through cycles and stuff like i get a serious sweet tooth so this gym session was deadly because uh, I am about to hit my period, so my energy is extremely low. I barely can lift any weight, which is understandable, but I've learned to live with my cycle and I've learned not to shame myself or bash myself for like not being strong sometimes and being stronger the other times because I'm going through a 28, 29 day cycle. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the urge for a cheat meal today. Yeah. See, although I did say that 85 versus 15% equals to about three and a half cheat meals a week, does that mean that I actually have to follow through with all three of them? Like, I haven't been feeling uh, like a cheat for basically like this entire week and that was okay. And now I'm actually craving it because I'm getting closer to my period. So we're gonna go to Panera and that's gonna be my first 
cheat meal of the entire week out of the three and a half that's allowed. And for Panera, I'm literally having the exact same order for the last like few years. So when I go to Panera, I usually take like you pick two option because that gives you half a sandwich and another half whatever you want it, like a soup or a salad, which is a salad is usually what I go for. So this is a half of a, a chipotle chicken Southwest sandwich. I love that, love it, love it. And this is a half Southwest chicken branch salad. I'm on a very tight schedule because my mom will need the kitchen for the entire day of the day. I know crazy, but it's just a family thing that we need to do. So I need to cook the whole meal prep basically within an hour and a half right now because I also need to make it to the gym. But I don't think I'm gonna film this time just because like you already saw and it's gonna be the exact same thing, I promise. But I want to time it and see exactly how much time it takes for me to meal prep lunches and dinners for the entirety of the week. That would be useful for me right wouldn't it also this apron i made it myself in like high school we had a like a craftsman class like craftswoman class i guess <laughs> where we would do this but like look at this i mean <laughs> i'm a bit wider now so i will have to do with this but i'm already ready for the gym because like i said i need to build up really quickly and uh, head to the gym because my man is waiting for me at the gym so all right we are back it is it's literally taking me an hour and almost 10 minutes. Let's just count it an hour and 10 minutes. And I've got all of this stuff. I literally just ran out of Ziploc, so I put this, these three servings into container. But other than that, all of that stuff, plus the cleanup, plus the disinfection, everything is clean. I'm basically like, I'm ready to give out the kitchen to my mom because she's gonna be cooking the entirety of the day today. And like I've seen in the video before, it's gonna take about 15 minutes to air fry, and then about maybe like another five minutes to cut up the vegetables. Done. All right, after careful consideration in terms of my schedule, the holidays, everything that's been going on and will be going on through the end of the year, I decided that I'm going to mentally set up my dental scan appointment for January 31st of 2025. That gives me about 15 weeks, including this week that's just about to pass. That gives me 15 weeks to create some serious focus and to, um, like really dial in on, on my goals. And I know I said in the beginning of the video that it's gonna be around 12 weeks, but reality is 12 weeks will make it December 31st. You know what I mean? Like that's just literally not productive. So after the holidays, after my man's birthday pass, after we're back into the routine a little bit, we're gonna both do the dust scan. That's just gonna be my northern light from now on basically. But yeah, that's how I'm trying to operate for now at least. And now having the setup date for the DEXA scan and having my nutrition dialed in and mostly having my training figured out, mostly but not quite, I think I'm gonna have some progress. But the thing is with weight and water body mass and muscle mass and fat, it is incredibly difficult to have any kind of daily trends as a woman because like I said, I'm PMSing right now. I'm freaking bloated. There is so much extra water in my body. Uh, you know, Know, like I weigh more right now than I would have weighed after my period you know what I mean TMI I know but this is kind of why I'm not extremely strict or extremely upset at the weight that may or may not seem to budge because I just know that as a woman I can truly only know my weight when I weigh myself once a month after my period is over <laughs> that's just that's just the reality of things of being a woman can you just take a wild guess what happened after this video? So basically my period hit me like a pile of bricks. I did not really train much and ever since then I haven't been feeling well and ever since then I got sick. I'm sick right now as I'm in this video and nothing happened for about a month. Yeah, that's how this video ends and I don't know when I'm gonna be back feeling better but I will try to start filming as soon as possible obviously and then I'm actually approaching my next period which is even more exciting. What a joy of being a woman.